Okay, when you're doing atomic mass calculations, you need to get mad. So, three things you're going to remember. The M stands for multiply. The A for add. And the D for divide. Do it in that order, those three steps. Remember, get mad. And let's take a look at a few questions. Okay. So, first of all, how do I know I have an atomic mass calculation? Well, you're going to see that they're asking about atomic mass here in the question, and you're looking for the numerical setup. So, if you want to get mad and do it this way, follow the three steps. So, multiply. What are you multiplying? For each isotope, you multiply the percent and atomic mass. So, the 60... 0.11 times 68.926 and the 39.89 times 70.925. So get those two calculations on paper and then come on back and let's look at the next step. Okay, so we've multiplied. Now the next step is add. You're going to add these two numbers together, and what you're going to get, of course, is 6972, and then the last step is the D, which is divide. And you're going to take your 6972, and you're going to divide by 100, and you're going to get an answer of 69.72. All right, so the last thing you need to do is take all of your choices and do the math, and then play the matching game. Which of the four choices does the answer come out to 69.72? So, just do them in order. If you get the answer right away, then you're good to go. And as a matter of fact, when you do the calculation right away, the answer is choice one. That's your answer. Don't even look at the other three, and just keep going. One more, let's practice. So. Here we are, we have another question. These are recent questions. They, this question shows up every year. So don't even look at the answers, get mad first. So M-A-D. Pause the video, do your calculations, play the matching game, calculate each one. Whatever one matches, that's your answer. So you set it up, I'm gonna set it up here. Pause the video for just a few seconds. Okay. So let's take a look. You take your two numbers, you multiply them together. So that's our M right here. Then we're going to take those two answers and we're adding them together. That's our A. And then finally with the answer, we're going to divide by 100. And here it is. So the answer for the atomic mass of boron is 10.81. And now we want to compare it to our four answers. Once again, as I mentioned before, just do each one of them at a, at a time. Calculate the answer, and what you're gonna find out is that this first one, once again, is the correct answer. You're gonna get 10.81. Please don't think that every time there's a Regents question with atomic mass that the answer is always gonna be one. It just happens to be a coincidence. But that's all you have to do, get mad, get your answer, and then just go ahead and calculate the answers from the four choices and match them up. Keep working hard. Keep going over questions. You'll find that you'll find um, this question pretty much on every Regents exam that you practice. Good luck.